Michelle Valentine show. Uh, <laughs> boy, we're going to have a lot of fun with this upcoming guest. I just want to say for the record, I am holding my coffee mug. There is water in this coffee mug, not beer, which has in relation to with this upcoming guest. I was a special guest on a show called Having a Beer with Mike. <laughs> And so, like I said, he's kind of like the Howard Stern locally of Central Florida, and, uh, but it was a lot of fun. He's actually the producer and host of another show called The Singles Game. So that's how we're kind of tying this into the love and relationship theme of the Michelle Valentine Show. <laughs> and um, So, okay, he's getting antsy, so come on on the set, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Michelle, how are you doing? Hello. <laughs> You know, after I was on his show recently, I'm surprised that I'm dealing with you again. I just want to but, see, uh, the Florida, I, only one man wears that crown. Mm -hmm. I am the Captain Kangaroo. Thanks for having me on the show. Captain Kangaroo? I don't think he drinks beer. Captain Kangaroo is a major recovering mm -hmm. alcoholic. He and uh, um, Mr. Green Jeans used mm -hmm. to party at the end of every show. It's, who, else, it's who else is the guy with the sweater? Was Mr. Um, Rogers guy, or something? He used to come over. He used to want to party with those guys, but... <laughs> He wasn't cool enough to get mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, thanks for coming on my show last time. Right. I appreciate it. So, you did the singles game, and now you're doing this new show called Having a Beer with Mike. Yes, so, tell is. people what the show is about. Seeing since you're a swinging single guy, tell us what it's all about. Yeah, what we do is we have people on the show, and we drink a beer, and we talk just like we talk in mm -hmm. a normal, you know, pub situation. It's a friendly show. You were on it, but we try to splice in a little, little humor now and then. <laughs> and uh, it airs right here on Time Warner, and uh -huh. special thanks to Johnny Langley, because he, <laughs> he believes in the show. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, we got some good viewers, some good comments around uh -huh. town. And like I say, I'm the Captain Kangaroo of, of, of television. Uh, Howard Stern, he goes for the, 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 the mm -hmm. sexual and the, uh, mm. you know, a little, little further out there than I am. Mm. You know, I'm All just right. basically like a family guy, you know. Okay. So, uh, so what are some other guests you've had on your show with Beer with Mike? So, like, who can you expect to see on your show? Uh, uh, WCW hacksaw Jim Duggan, uh, former Globetrotter Curly Neal. Uh, we've had Reggie Branch from the Redskins, uh, Mike McBath. Um, that was the show Bills. I was on, Mike McBath. Yeah, and he he's was on the former Buffalo Bills, you know, lineman, mm -hmm. and a lot of just regular folks. I had a woman on there one time that claims that her claim was that men they're they're inefficient, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> when they're in a marriage making love. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a family man, marriage. And so we, she brought on a chart of the female anatomy and she, she kind of showed what men need to know and it uh -huh. was very helpful. So the show is very educational and we're glad that we can help Central Floridians with their <laughs> sex lives. <laughs> I saw that show and I saw the sketch. Uh, that wasn't brought by like, you know, Florida Hospital or some type of science biology department from the University of Central Florida. Where did that well, come from? Michelle, I don't have a, a big budget. Um, <laughs> I'm just happy to have a show here at Time Warner. <laughs> and so what I did is we took, a, we took a piece of paper that was about four foot big and we, uh -huh. we drew it with marker. Uh -huh. We drew the female anatomy all out. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had one of the production assistants draw it. And then so the girl, her name was Sarah Dewey. She's the president of the WABL. That's the Women Against Bad Lovers. She came on and she pointed out how much time you spend on the on the cheek, how long you kiss the neck. Mm -hmm. The breastbone, evidently, in this show was uh, something that men skip past. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to concentrate on the breastbone. Okay. And All so right. she helped us out, Michelle, and I, I I learned a lot, and I'm just dying to try out my new tricks. But you know, like I said, it's uh, I'm a busy man. All right. Well, I know you're busy, so let's hurry up and take a look at the clip of uh, me being on having a beer with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Did she sign a release? <laughs> Give me back my release. <laughs> okay. Are we rolling, guys? All right. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? Hi, Mike. How are you? Oh, it's good to see you. You know, we're here at Calico Jackson. This is Michelle Valentine. She also has a show that airs on Time Warner Cable. Yeah, for Time Warner. Let's have a toast to Time Warner. All right. <laughs> well. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. You were great on the show that day. Uh, that whole story about David Lee Roth, uh -huh. what we were talking about, was, yeah. was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Uh -huh. Did you like coming on the show? Did you like the <laughs> feeling of it? Yeah, it was fun being on the show, and I had a feeling that something was going to happen, what I did not expect to happen, and it happened. And uh, so how about if we take a look at that and uh, 
Oh, the second part of the clip? Yeah, the second part of the clip of what you did. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, I remember talking to you one time. You said, Mike, nobody believes me, but I was uh, at a bar. David Lee Roth was playing. Everybody <laughs> was trying for his attention. Take it from here. <laughs> you want me to tell that story? I would love to hear that story. <laughs> this is the perfect format for a story. Okay, like this that. is the perfect format. Okay. Um, well, let's see. My story goes back quite a few years when uh, there's this uh, group out there called Van Halen, this uh, huge rock group, and I'm from Detroit. You guys, wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> you heard of Van Halen? They're, they're huge! Uh, <laughs> so, so I had been up from Detroit, a big fan of Van Halen my entire life, my entire life. And of course, I was an avid fan of David Lee Roth, who's the, uh, the blonde, you know, the blonde singer with the long hair. And uh, anyway, so as a teenage okay, this girl, let me roll a clip of David Lee Roth. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, now go. Where are you going to get a clip of David Lee Roth? I got, I got a library. <laughs> oh, yeah. So where did you find it? Who was that? Yeah, I was following David Lee Roth around. And I got that footage of him, you yeah. know, because I went on tour with him six months ago. And so he's kind of changed his image a little bit. He's got this, uh, <laughs> this new outfit that promotes his new song, he Heartaches, Headaches, and Hangovers. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really cool. And mm -hmm. so, you know, he's kind of been losing his hair a little bit, so he had, he had some work done and everything. And uh, I think he's got a good second <laughs> wind going, you know. And um, I'm pretty excited <laughs> about this. I hope to go on tour with more of the, the, the musical celebrities in the future. Mike. Mike, I don't want people to think that that's the David Lee Roth that I oh, Michelle, loved you, all these you years. You underestimate your audience <laughs> if you think that they're not going to... That's not David Lee Roth, for those of you who don't know that. Who, who was that guy? Where did you get oh. that clip from? It's pretty funny, actually. I thought it was quite hilarious. Uh, that's actually Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold. <laughs> no, no. It's... <laughs> well, yeah, have you seen him lately? You kind of looked... Uh, no, this, this clip he's is... He's a country singer, obviously. Yeah, that's Ernie Ashworth, oh. and a lot of your, a lot of your folks out there probably uh, loved his music. He had mm -hmm. heartaches, headaches, and hangovers, and talk back trembling. Which, <laughs> that's Johnny uh, Langley's, one of his favorite songs <laughs> over there. And, <laughs> and so it is. I mean, is we, that he true? enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, Johnny's back over here looking at us. He's going uh -huh. thumbs up and everything. But no, Ernie's, uh, we, we plan to have him on your show soon. Um, he's, he'll be hitting the uh, tour here in Orlando here mm. pretty soon. Will he be coming out as like a single guy? Well, he's actually hitting the nursing home circuit, <laughs> and so he'll be coming in and you know, he'll sing his song. Okay. For you. So, sure. so Michael, let's see. So you're this beer drinking. Uh, what do you? What image are you trying to portray again? Well, my image has always been that of a uh, womanizing beer drinking hellraiser. Does he look like a womanizing hellraising beer drinker? <laughs> you know, and so um, I've changed my image in the last oh, you 90 have? days. Yeah, you have. I, uh, well, I, 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 you know, cut back on the drinking, and you notice my cigar isn't lit. Yeah. yeah. And uh, actually, I, I put in for an adoption. I'm so I've, really? I have a family now. Adopted a child. Well, that's wonderful. So you've, oh, you, oh, they're telling me that your daughter's here tonight, today. Yeah, before she comes out, I want to tell you about her. This adoption process, it's really interesting. It's like they come over, they, they look in your refrigerator, they look in your dresser drawers, okay. they try to make sure, you know, everything is up, up and up. They check your whole uh, background and everything. And then, and then they, they uh, proceeded on to approve me. And then <laughs> right. I had to go on with a, uh, I had to go out and scout and go into the, uh, adoption place, the, the home, and I had picked out the one I wanted. We went to lunch, we hit it off, and it's like we've been together for the, our whole lives. Well, that's wonderful. Well, we'll stay tuned. We'll be right back with uh, Michael's new adopted daughter. If you're enjoying the Michelle Valentine Show, you will love her new travel TV show, Love, Eat, Travel. Follow Michelle Valentine as she travels the world, showcasing the most beautiful destinations, unique adventures, romantic things to do, delicious foods, and more. Visit www.loveeattravel.tv for more information about her upcoming TV show. Hi, this is Michelle Valentine, and I would love if you followed me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. 
be sure to visit my website, michellevalentine.tv, for more information, read thousands of interesting blog posts, watch videos, enter sweepstakes, and more. Also, be sure to join my email list to receive my free weekly e-newsletter. Are you wondering where all the quality singles are? Singles that are attractive, educated, and financially secure? Hello, I'm Michelle Valentine, and I've helped thousands of singles live a happier life, and I can help you too. Clients and members include millionaires, models, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. So call us for your complimentary consultation.